Hey, what's up, you guys? Super Mario Series 99 here, and today, um, uh, as you guys know, I went to GameStop, and, uh, well, I didn't forget to tell you, but about a week ago, I went to GameStop, and I did pre-order a game that did come out recently for, um, well, a Nintendo Switch, actually. Well, technically, it didn't come out recently, but it came out physically on Switch, and that game is Red Dead Redemption on Nintendo Switch. Now, I wonder, like, say... Super Mario Series 99, did this game already come out on Switch? Well, yes, but not just Switch, but also on PlayStation 4, but it came out first digitally for $49.99. And I know what you're thinking, like, for it being $50 on both Switch and PS4, I know you're thinking, like, that's not even remastered! I mean, it may not be remastered because, um... I mean, this is a long way to title for Nintendo Switch and PS4, because... Well, I mean, the game was originally released on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, so 360, well, specifically Xbox, would not be getting an official current-gen release because the, the 360 version is backwards compatible on Xbox One and Series X. So the Switch and the PS4 versions will have to get a $50 price tag. PS3, it was originally released, but the game is not backwards compatible with the PS4. So, yeah, it's kind of a bummer. So... So, also can't forget, this also cut off the multiplayer for both Switch and PS4. It cuts off the multiplayer, just the game and the Undead Nightmare DLC. So, yep. Let's get to unboxing the game. Alright guys, so we're about to unbox the Nintendo Switch version of Red Dead Redemption on Switch. So, um, this is everything you got. It's like, see, look guys, it has the full game and also Undead Nightmare as well. Uh, if you see the cover, look, there's the Rockstar Games logo in, in the back. Outlaws to the end, and it mentions the second game. Well, for Red Dead Redemption, although technically the Red Dead Redemption 2 is actually a prequel to the first game, so yeah. Double Eleven, which does the production of this game, well, it developed the Switch version. Here's the uh, ESRB rating, rated M for Mature for Blood and Gore, Intense Violence, Nudity, Strong Language, Strong Sexual Content, and Use of Drugs. So yeah, let's get to opening the con game. Okay, that was easy. I pre-ordered this at GameStop about like a week ago. So let's see what the physical cartridge is like inside. Oh, this is the cartridge and ooh, the cover in the physical copy is amazing. This is the small cartridge here, guys. So this is what it looks like on the inside. Just like most Nintendo Switch cartridges. So yeah. I might also, like, I'll be doing, like, to show you what is it like to play it in TV mode, handheld, and tabletop mode. So, let's get to recording TV mode. How does it play like? Alright, guys, so we're about to test out Red Dead Redemption on TV mode for Nintendo Switch. So, let's see how it goes. I had to re-update the game because of, you know, updates... Oh, you can play in various languages, including English, German, Italian, F Polish, French, Spanish, both European and Latin American, Brazilian, Portuguese, Russian, uh, Japanese, Mandarin. What word is it? Jap Mandarin, Japanese, and Korean. I'll go with English since that's the language I'm natively stick to. 2005 with, well, that was with Red Dead Revolver. By the Eula. Kind of looks like Eula from Genshin Impact. Important health warning. Red Dead, Rockstar Games, and Rockstar San Diego. Double Eleven, which did the development and pull, which did the collection of the Red Dead Redemption. So let's press start. See how you can play normal, hardcore, undead nightmare. We're going to go with normal. Alert, a Red Dead Redemption save could not be found. Would you like? What would you like to do? I'd like to create a new save game. The Odyssey feature which is by fall. You may turn off at any time in the options menu. Yes. Same content. Please do not turn off for your Nintendo Switch system. Exodus in America. Okay guys, so this is how it looks like on Switch. Kind of looks similar to Xbox 360 graphics.
Fits perfect for like a game that was 720p on 360. 640p on PS3 actually. Bringing down a car here. Honestly guys, it looks pretty good. But I can cut to a segment where we can get to the... A segment, you know, where we can do the actual game. So, let's cut to the segment here. Alright guys, so this is gameplay now here for Red Dead Redemption on TV mode. Okay, so how you press is, uh, you press, um, so you, so you move this control here for, you know, to look around. Uh, you use this to, like, turn around. And then you press B to run, hold, sprint, or to sprint, quickly tap B. There's also a navigation right there, which approaches to the exit right here. Now, guys, I might have to cut this scene because of we're entering a bar now, so sorry about it. Now, you... Next up, you press X to ride your horse. That comes to this part, guys, where um, you press uh, L to move your horse. Well, actually, the left joystick, you move your horse. Then you press... Uh, you tap B to speed up your horse. You hold R to slow down your horse. Wait for this train to go. Turn to Jake. We're in Choya Springs, guys. This is how gameplay looks like for Red Dead on Nintendo Switch. We're presented by the bar. All right. Two crows. So guys, I might get to a segment where we can do the shooting ability, so I'm going to have to do a long process of this, so let me cut to the segment where I can show you guys which button is to use a, a weapon, a gun, guys. So let's get to that segment. Okay, guys, so we have to hold the look A to focus. Hold A to look at, look at the carcass. Okay guys, so we're gonna get to the tutorial part where they show you how to use a gun, so let's cut to that segment. Alright all right guys, so we're at the part where we get uh, to see how we learn how to use the, how the shooting range works, guys. So here's how it works. Red Dead Redemption on, on Switch, guys. Is the, oh, crap. Of course. Come on! Come on! Come on. God damn it, these rabbits are at it again. Come on, let's get rid of them once and for all. This. This is how we have to get rid of the rabbit. So this is how you do it. You gotta hold ZL to draw your weapon. You're, and then you hold any of the ZL imp to the cross. You're holding down. You press arm to aim, free aim your target or and you press hold ZR to shoot like this one for example. Like that. See look guys. Or if I do like, and you press A to reload your weapon, like for example. This is how you press A to reload your weapon. Then you press A to reload your weapon. 
And it's just like that. Yes. So that's Red Dead Redemption on TV mode. So have you always wondered what would it be like if you played the game in handheld mode? So, yeah, so let's head on to handheld mode. Okay, right, so this is how uh, Red Dead Redemption looks like on Switch here. We're playing on the OLED model in handheld mode. Hello. This is how you play. Honestly, um, the colors are pretty vibrant, actually, for OLED. Of course, I have it on the vivid color settings, you know. It's to play in a more colorful resolution. Yeah. Plays pretty good. Yeah. It's pretty good, guys. Though... If you have a Switch OLED, I recommend getting Red Dead Redemption on it because, you know, it looks more colorful than the old model. Because, after all, the OLED Switch model actually has the vivid color setting. And it makes it pretty interesting to play. So, I'm about to show you guys how it looks like when you play it in tabletop mode. Although, it's going to feel like the same from the, like, the original. But, I guess I'll have to show it to you all. So, let's get to that scene. Alright, now I have to see what the game looks like on tabletop mode. We're about to see what it looks like. Uh, honestly, it looks pretty good, guys. Especially for the Switch OLED. Vivid colors, shiny again. Come on! Honestly, this is a pretty good port of Red Dead Redemption, even if the multiplayer is cut off. It is a pretty solid port. Although the game is available on PS4 and um, it does have a bit more solid colors than the Switch does, but although the Switch version was able to meet up the expectations of the 360 graphics, like, well, 1080p at 30 FPS on TV mode, but 720p 30 FPS in handheld and tabletop mode. It's worth playing, guys. This is an awesome port. It is awesome, so... I'll show you what the verdict is. So let's show off what the verdict of the game is. So for Red Dead Redemption on Switch, overall, it's a pretty solid port for Nintendo Switch. Um, I also forgot to mention the game is also available for uh, PlayStation 4, you know. And um, yeah, so personally, this is a game that uh, I would recommend to people who are fans of Red Dead Redemption. The, specifically the Red Dead series. I know the story can be chronologically confusing, actually, guys, because, like, Red Dead would start off with the series, Red Dead Revolver, taking place in 18... Well, in the 1880s, actually, during the American frontier. Red Dead Redemption 2, which takes place in 1899, uh, almost close to the end of the American frontier. And this game, which takes place in 1911, almost close to the end of the Old West, which it ended back in 1912. Yeah... Also, um, there are some flaws, actually, like, biggest of all, multiplayer being cut it off, actually, for this version. I mean, I'd like to thank those who already have, uh, I'd like to give shoutouts to those who own the original PS3 or 360 versions, which have the multiplayer. And, yeah. So, yeah, this is a great port for Nintendo Switch, uh, but it's also available on PS4 as well. I mean... Despite having a bit more colorful changes, this is actually the only, well, considered the definitive way to play it. Especially you can play it with you anywhere you like. So yeah, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Also guys, um, I do plan on making, um, since this week we have two upcoming games, which are Sonic Superstars and Super Mario Bros. Wonder. So I'm actually thinking about making a, uh, well, a uh, video about, like, which one of these has the, uh, well, I don't know how to explain it, but I can try making a meme about who might have, like, the games that fans are hyped up for for this week. So, yep. Anyways, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.